All right. My YouTube videos, I'm shooting with just a regular phone. And it seems to work out quite well. Everybody on the internet likes to sell you all these other high dollar cameras and stuff. And I actually have a GoPro. Um, it's in storage right now. Uh, or I'd try it out maybe. But uh, um, uh, let me tell you a little bit about phones. Okay, first of all, this is um, like the ZTE Majesty or Midnight. And I liked that phone a lot. The size was really cool and that. Um, but it just didn't have enough uh, screen for the things that I do because I do a lot of internet like for my website and stuff like that and it's so much easier to see. Plus, when I'm shooting pictures, uh, I have to have a lot of storage, um, you know, chip storage and that uh, so that I can upload it to my computer by taking the chip out and I can load those pictures onto my computer and put listings on my websites. So, um, and plus this just doesn't stay on long. It's like always on the charger. Um, so, uh, that's kind of a done deal. Um, and the size, you can see the size difference, you know, it's just a really small phone for what I need. I, I get a phone for my use. Um, and unfortunately, you know, when we had the blackberries and all that, that was a big deal. And, and, uh, I remember buying a Blackberry that was like $500 on sale for like a hundred. And, um, you know, I thought that was really a neat thing when people started texting, which I hated. Um, I'd rather just talk. Um, but, uh, um, they lasted forever. Those phones, they would go for years. Uh, I've tried a lot of different phones and had a lot of problems. I've learned a lot with these flat face phones. Um, in buying phones so trust me I've tried a bunch anyway so this phone is just out of my uses I don't need it um, this was a great phone the Hawaii Raven what a neat phone that was like almost $300 new um, super neat phone uh, and out of most phones it had a large internal space like 8 gigabyte and um, it uh, 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 this of course has our magnetic charger on it. That's so cool. Um, and you know, it had a great camera on it. Great face. Uh, the glass was excellent. The gorilla glass. Um, I even had protectors. Um, I used special glass protectors. Uh, the one that you're supposed to can drop from a ladder and it'd be fine. And, uh, uh, anyway, um, in fact, I had somebody's little kid knock my phone out of my hand onto a wood floor uh, on accident. It was just a toddler, and my screen cover shattered terrible, and I thought my phone was ruined, and I only had it for about a month. And actually, when I took the screen glass off, which you have to do really carefully because it's shattering glass, it's better to do it like with tweezers um, and over a trash can for your safety. But this the screen was still good on my phone, oddly enough, so it was well worth the money of buying the little screen glass that you buy for it. But get the glass one, the plastic one is trashy. Anyway, I love this phone, but it just didn't take enough storage with a chip that you put inside it. So I graduated out to this other phone that I thought was really nifty. Um, it's uh, uh, the ZTE Max Duo 2, whatever. It has like two cameras and it does front and back uh, camera. And um, it is really neat. Um, and uh, this one has the, the armor cover on it. I ordered that on Amazon. It was gold. It kind of wore out. But you can open this up and flip it down and, and all that. So you, you do this and stand it up and set it up and do all that cool stuff. And those are really nice to put on a phone. It will really help it a lot if you ever, ever drop it. And that has that little glass cover. You can see the edges of it. And um, it keeps it, the screen really nice. And it's more reactive to these pins and stuff when you put the nice cover on. And it doesn't get as dirty. And anyway... Um, I wanted something, I went through like five of these phones, these Max Duos, 
for some reason they overheat and they just die um, very easily um, and I just got over it because I lost so much information that was really important on my phone I couldn't access it because it would just black out and die um, and I'm not a real big phone user um, so uh, it was really sad um, and the mic on this was kind of lousy but it had an excellent amount of storage you could put by putting an extra chip in which again I used the chip to put in my computer to load uh, pictures and things so that I can put them on my website so uh, I went to a store and I they have like a 15 day return period so I thought you know spending this like $300 on phone when I really didn't want to buy like a Samsung or an iPhone the iPhone stores everything in this cloud I don't know where that goes to um, I'm just not into like letting all my stuff go public but anyway, um, not like I'm hiding anything. I just like my own things to myself. Anyway, um, uh, I needed um, a, a good phone, and I was hoping to get a cheaper one that would have enough storage and do what I needed to do and was easy to operate. I'm not into spending $1,000 on an iPhone or any of that mess. Um, I do love the Samsungs very much, but the screens just aren't big enough. I, in 2017, I went through... Every phone at this one store, I tried every one and returned it till I found something kind of on accident that I really, really like. That's an incredible phone that's better than any phone that they've got there as far as I'm concerned. It works for me. And and um, it's uh, the LG, LG Stylo 3. Okay, there's our magnetic charger found on showgirlltd.com. This is so wonderful. You don't have to look for that little hole. Um, matter of fact, on this Raven... Uh, let me go back to this Raven for just a moment. The Hawaii Raven, I had bought two or three of these because the thing loosened up in there where you plug the charger in. Even a brand new one was loose. And and they get worse and worse and worse. And this will steady it up if you put this in here so that you can still use it. And it was really sad because I went ahead and bought another phone. Um, and so this one just lays around. But um, that was the bad part about the Ravens. They, they have a loose thing all the time and they just... Um, you can't charge them anymore. They're terrible. But anyway, um, so this phone has been really good. Um, uh, I went through all these different phones, returned them, till I found, I went to an LG Stylo, and I wasn't really excited about the way it operated. It was hard to figure out, because uh, all these different phones kind of operate differently. So, um, I, I went across this LG Stylo 3, and uh, a lot of companies have it, the different carriers and that, you know, the T-Mobile and all that stuff. And this thing has a built-in pin, a stylo pin, and um, you can, uh, um, you know, make notes on here, draw on here, and all that. It's really kind of nifty. And then... Um, uh, you know, it has pop memo and all that kind of stuff. But this thing has a lot of different screens. So I load, you know, sections for different things. Like that's all my computer stuff, fixing things on here. Um, uh, it's really neat. That's my dad. 